Hello cadets, welcome back to Marine School. In this video I will familiarize you with one more type of cargo vessels. All cargo ships are designed in one way or another to transport one or several types of cargo. Tankers carry liquid bulk cargoes. Bulk carriers transport unpackaged dry goods. Container ships carry containers and so on. All these are bulk cargoes and the ships are maximally adapted for their transportation. However, among cargoes there are some special ones, those which are not transported in large quantities and those which are very inconvenient to carry. For such cargoes, there are no specialized types of ships. Thus, for these cases, a special type of vessel called a heavy lifter is used. A heavy lifter is a vessel designed for transporting heavy and oversized cargoes. Oversized cargoes, such as wind turbine blades, take up a lot of space. Therefore, as you can see, the cargo area is very spacious and maximally open. Heavy cargoes, such as tracked machinery like tanks, can weigh around 60 tons, exerting pressure on the deck with their tracks. Thus, the load can be up to 10 tons per square meter or more. Therefore, the construction of the ship, its structure, its skeleton, must be correspondingly strengthened to withstand such weights. If there is a need to transport something completely oversized, the cargo space can be open. However, if necessary, it can be covered with pontoon type hatch covers. All of them are laid in place to form an additional deck on which cargo can be placed. As you can see, at the stern of the ship, there is a ramp similar to those found on ferries. Therefore, wheeled and tracked vehicles can be rolled on and rolled for the ship. However, the main feature of this ship is not just its size. If you need to transport a small vessel, a godsend, a military ship, or a yacht belonging to some wealthy individual, it's no problem at all. The ship opens its ramp, takes on ballast, submerges in the water, and our object enters inside. After that, the ballast pumps are activated, and our heavy lifter surfaces, lifting on board an object weighing several thousand tons. This is precisely why this vessel is called a heavy lifter. It's designed for lifting heavy loads. When transporting heavy and oversized cargo, securing the load is a very important aspect. Therefore, the entire cargo space is covered with frames and other elements to which the cargo can be secured using slings, lashing bars, and other fastening devices. However, perhaps the most distinctive feature of a heavy lifter are its extremely powerful cranes. As you can see in this video, these particular cranes are capable of lifting 350 tons each. Sometimes they are used together and then they can lift something weighing up to 700 tons. When dealing with such weights, the ship itself would not be able to remain upright when the cargo crane lifts something from the quay weighing around 700 tons. Therefore, counterbalancing has to be achieved by redistributing ballast. As you can see, on this type of ship, there simply isn't a separate engine room compartment. It is located under the cargo space. Also, for the transportation of heavy and oversized cargo, more versatile ships with less heavy lifting capacity can be used. For example, as you can see now, this vessel has a classic astern accommodation layout, but the hatch covers that close the cargo compartment are of the pontoon type, they also allow for the placement of wind turbine blades, both inside and outside. However, it still retains the ability to transport other types of cargo. That is why the vessel is called a universal or multi-purpose ship. Such a multi-purpose ship with powerful cargo gear, enforced hull, and more sophisticated ballast system can also take on the functions of a heavy lifter. As you can see, these are small vessels, about 120 meters in length and 12, 16 meters in width. The crew is reduced around 12 plus or minus two people. During cargo operations, there is usually a lot of work and it is difficult for the crew to find time to rest. So, this is the overview. If you have anything to add, feel free to comment. If you have questions, you're also welcome to comment. That's all from me for today. This was the captain of the cargo ship. Goodbye.